So today in the garage, we're gonna see about making use of this uh, storage space that I have up above my office. Uh, the trick is um, right now, anything I get up here, I have to carry up on a ladder. So we're gonna find a much easier way to move that stuff. So you can see I have a decent amount of headspace, not quite enough uh, room to stand up all the way, but uh, plenty of room for uh, if I've got a track coming along here that's connected to the uh, ceiling joists. Uh, then the ceiling joists are on every uh, six feet, or sorry, not joists, they're, they're uh, roof trusses. If I can connect into the roof trusses, there's one about here, one just right about at uh, just past the edge of this floor. And then if I connect to the next uh, one out there, so if I make my track a little more than uh, 12 feet long, I should be able to connect it to all three of those. I can lag bolt it in with multiple lag bolts and I'm good for, you know, easily for conservatively a couple hundred pounds. Um, in theory, I could do a lot more than that, but you know, I'm gonna try to be somewhat safe with this. Okay, so I've got all the pieces cut out for my track. Uh, so what I'm doing, and normally you would do this with a big piece of I-beam. I'm using stuff I have laying around. Um, I don't plan on doing anything really heavy, so this should be more than enough. I'm thinking 400 pounds max. The, the winch I, or the uh, hoist I bought maxes out at 400 pounds anyway, so that's the heaviest I can lift. But what I've got, I've got some plywood. And I, I wanted to make this about 14 feet long. So I've got an eight foot sec or two eight foot sections and two six foot sections. And these are going to get sandwiched together to make a, uh, the spine of the, uh, of the track. And then I have two pieces of angle that are going to go down here. And uh, I'm going to do, I'm going to drill holes through that and through bolt um, all the way through that so that uh, it should be nice and rigid. The angle iron will be most of the uh, support. The uh, center beam gives a little extra rigidity and uh, makes it easier to mount. Well, I thought the camera was running through all that, but uh, evidently not. <laughs> um, not sure what I caught, but basically, to recap, in case I didn't get it on video, I slathered a whole bunch of glue. Basically, I finished off this bottle, poured it out, spread it with a Bondo spreader, made a bit of a mess, but I don't mind that because I'd rather have a mess than to have a weak part. Um, used every clamp I've got to clamp it together, and now it's hot, so I'm going to take a break. And uh, I need to go to the hardware store anyway and get a couple more things, get the bolts I'm going to put this together with. And... Uh, We'll see if, it, if I feel like getting back to it today or not, or if I'm just gonna sit in the air conditioned house. <laughs> okay, so that's basically what it's gonna look like. I'm gonna bolt these on. I'm gonna drill holes all the way through and bolt them on. And that should keep it nice and straight and rigid, makes it easy to hang, and should be plenty strong for what I'm doing. I want everything along the bottom to be flush so the whole beam is nice and straight before I bolt it together. It is hot today. Uh, now I'm sure you guys in New Mexico and Arizona are thinking it doesn't get hot in New England, which by your standards it doesn't, but we're not used to it. <laughs> and it gets humid. And I'm a wuss, I'll admit it. So I realized after uh, I started this that these are actually uh, nylock nuts, which is great for this other than I didn't necessarily need nylock uh, nuts because I bought lock washers, so I spent too much money, which is just another example of why you really need to watch out when you go to the big box stores because nothing is in its right place. 
And so if you grab it from the shelf that says it's just regular 5 16 nuts, well, beware, because people move stuff and nobody at the store gives a damn. Okay, that wraps up the track, I believe. I think that's gonna work pretty well. So, I think that's probably enough for today. Tomorrow, what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna build the uh, trolley that goes along here. Uh, and uh, design for that's in my head. Hopefully it turns out the, uh, the way I envision it. And then the fun part, I gotta get this thing all the way up into the ceiling, but I've got ideas on that. But for now, it's hot, I'm sweaty. I think it's time to call it a day. So I spent the morning uh, kind of finalizing the design of the trolley and cutting the pieces out. Um, so Harbor Freight does sell a fairly inexpensive trolley. I thought about using one of those. It wasn't quite exactly what I wanted and I thought I'd at least make a shot at building one myself. Um, now, once again, this is for relatively light duty stuff. Uh, I think this should be plenty strong. I'm, what I've done is I've uh, cut several pieces of plywood to get the right width. Now, these are just exactly the width of the track itself. And then these, which are slightly taller, will stick up above. Uh, this will all get glued together with multiple screws, so it um, essentially makes one really thick block of wood. And then what I'm gonna do is I've got some uh, roller skate bearings. They're gonna go through here. I'm gonna have eight on each side, so it should spread the load really well. Small washer on the inside, so uh, the bearing doesn't press into the wood too deeply. And then a large fender washer on the outside. I'll give you a, a little closer look at this with the, uh, the phone camera here. So here you can see I've got very, pieces of plywood. It's a combination of three quarter, five eighths, and there's a couple uh, uh, eighth inch pieces in there just to get the right width. And then the uh, this will get through drilled with the uh, bearing there. Uh, four on each side. I think I said eight, eight on each side. I mean, uh, it'll be eight total. Four on each side should spread the load nicely. And uh, this uh, should fit on there really nicely. And then uh, later on, I'll show you how this is gonna attach to the, uh, uh, to the hoist that's going to be uh, doing the lifting. Okay, well, it's not pretty and it's got glue all over it because I'm very liberal with the glue on stuff like this, but it's gonna be strong. Um, essentially what I've made is a giant uh, solid block of plywood. Uh, which should be strong enough. Um, I've just went ahead and inserted two of the uh, bolts with the uh, roller skate bearings for now. Fits on the track uh, nice and snug, almost a little snug in places. I think I'm gonna have to polish the edges of the track, just knock the edge off with the grinder, and I think it'll be perfect. Um, it's snug enough that it doesn't rack side to side, which was one of my concerns, because that's a fairly narrow uh, bearing if it was to turn sideways. you know, Of course, there's a chance it could drop. Uh, I certainly don't plan on standing under it. Like I said, I'm not going to carry anything too terribly heavy with this, but uh, you know, even something 50 pounds on your head is going to hurt. So uh, I, I don't have enough bearings with me, uh, but they're supposed to come in the mail today. I've got some other stuff I'm going to do but uh, this afternoon, but that'll give this time to uh, for the glue to dry, and I can go uh, get my new bearings and bolt this up, and we'll see how it actually runs on the track. All right, well, it's later the same day. I gave the glue some time to set up while I uh, went out and took care of some other things, which is why I've changed clothes. I had to shower and be presentable and all that stuff. Um, so I've got all uh, eight of my bearings on here. They all move nice and freely. Um, they should be nice and secure. Uh, the, used, uh, the good quality three quarter inch birch plywood for that portion of it. And it fits pretty nicely. Um, rolls along pretty well. Uh, there's a couple of spots, I ran it down the uh, track earlier, there's a couple of spots where it does get hung up a little bit, and I'm a little concerned. So right in uh, inside here, it's the edge of the angle iron is going to rub on that, and I don't want that to wear down too much. It'll, you know, letting it wear a little bit 
will be fine, but I don't want it to get to the point where it gets some slack. This isn't going to see extremely heavy use, but uh, um, I don't plan on ever replacing it either, hopefully. Uh, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to just take this, uh, my grinder with the uh, abrasive flap disc here on it, and I'm just going to polish that edge, which should take off some of the mill scale uh, so it's not so rough and make it nice and slick so that it'll uh, help with the clearance issues and hopefully make it smooth so uh, it doesn't uh, wear that out over time. Okay, I did a quick little polish with the grinder. Didn't really take much off, just, just enough to smooth it up. So let's, let's do a quick little test and see if it rolls all the way to the end on its own. I think that'll work. So the way I'm going to mount these is I've got some of this uh, track with holes in it, the same thing you would hang uh, garage doors with, and I'm going to lag bolt it into the ceiling. Uh, my first thought was I'd probably need something stronger than lag bolts, but I did do a little research on this, a little engineering, and um, for a 5 16th lag bolt, one inch of thread is supposed to hold 200 pounds. Um, these are two and a half inch bolts uh, with two inches of thread. So that's 400 pounds per bolt. I'm going to do four for each one of these. So that's 1600 pounds um, per, uh, uh, per bracket. And there's going to be three across. Uh, obviously, uh, one needs to be able to hold all of it for when the weight's right under there. So once again, uh, the winch will only hold 400 pounds. So I should be well within uh, the range. As good as the uh, views might be on a video of me falling off the ladder, we're going to try to avoid that. Sorry to disappoint. Alright, to hang from the brackets up top, I just have more of the same uh, material here. And it is going to get through bolted through here. So it's hung in double shear. Uh, I'll have two. 5 16 through bolts, same thing I used to uh, bolt the track on. And then this will get just a single 3 8 bolt on each side to connect it to the upper track. Uh, so basically everything's on that little bit of metal. But So if it's going to fail, that's actually where it's going to fail. <laughs> so now the hard part. That heavy bean needs to go 14 feet in the air, um, which is a challenge by myself, but I think I have a plan. Okay, I won't be able to get it all the way up with this, but this, which I realize I can't really, I don't really have a wide enough shop to show it right now, is my Ben Pack 4 Post automotive lift. Um, it won't lift it quite high enough, but I can get it a lot closer and hopefully get one end up on top of the office with this. And if you're curious about the lift, I did a video about assembling it about, uh, about a, almost a year ago now. I'll put a link to that up above if you are curious. This is going to work. Ooh. That's backwards, isn't it? Yes, it is. Okay, I kind of screwed up. I put this up backwards. This is the end I wanted out there. But at least it's up here. Like I said, when I screw up, I will show it. <laughs> oh, even when it's a hot day, 
and I'm up in the top part of the building where all the heat rises to. But it's not as hot as yesterday, so I can't complain too much. My daily job, I sit at a desk all day. So this is pretty good exercise for me. Okay, the weight's on the bolt. Gonna get a washer in here. Gonna get the nut on here. Get it finger tight just so it is in place. And now that will take the weight. And I can get the other bolt in. Okay, well, it's still just loosely bolted on the other end and I don't have uh, um, the center bolts in, the center support, but even already, this is feeling nice and rigid. Um, I have come up with a plan though. Um, while in theory this is strong enough, it still makes me a little leery. I plan on living in this, uh, this house and having this shop for the rest of my life. I don't want to ever replace this. So what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to come out wider with a, an angled support. Um, that will keep it, even though it seems like it's pretty solid left to right, it'll prevent any uh, movement left to right. And, uh, you know, a backup to this, just in case something does fail to spread the load out a little bit better. Um, but I'll have to go to the hardware store to get something for that. For today, I'm going to finish up bolting this and you got to at least try it. All right, I'm just about to wrap it up or at least wrap it up for today. I am, uh, I've got everything tightened up. Uh, but I do want to see about, uh, like I was mentioning, I'm going to do some angled braces coming off uh, the track. But it's pretty solid as it is, so hopefully this is going to work. So now it's a matter of mounting the winch. So we've got the uh, trolley that uh, you saw me build earlier. Um, one thing I didn't mention is uh, these notches in it. So the, the center part is three boards wide, but then the, it's spaced out so that it's wide enough for the top here. Um, that is for mounting the, uh, the winch or the, uh, hoist itself, which I realized, ow, I haven't shown this yet. So this is, uh, just the, uh, the small hoist that Harbor Freight sells. It's, uh, rated for 220 pounds for single line, or you can double it through a uh, pulley and do 440 pounds. Um, I did have to modify the mounting brackets a little bit. Uh, these were, uh, sort of a, a hoop shape that was designed to go like uh, with a uh, pipe through it or something. Um, to mount it on here, I had to cut those off. Uh, but I'm going to be doing a through bolt that goes through both of these and through the trolley. So the uh, bolts will be in double shears, so that should be plenty strong. Um, so now it's just a matter of bolting this up and uh, hooking it on to the track and uh, trying it out. Okay, hopefully you can see this even with the poor lighting up here, but all right. I'm going to mount this on the track. There we go. Now, it, luckily, um, my, out, my lights are hooked up to uh, uh, just normal outlets here, so I have a good place to plug it in. Um, I'm realizing already one problem is I'm going to need to extend the cord. And, oh, this is ridiculous. Okay, something else that I hadn't realized that I'm noticing now is this is about 14 feet off the ground. I was hoping for this to reach the ground, and that's, that's ridiculous. So, uh, so far on the Harbor Freight uh, winch or hoist, it's uh, going to lose some marks for the ridiculously short uh, remote on it so I'm gonna have to extend those but at least I can come up here I can run the uh, the hoist from up here and I'll probably need to extend this if I'm gonna actually swing it out over hey success safety shot off even works all right let's lift something up one other thing I'm gonna do is put a uh, chain or something on it so if it's out towards the end I can pull it back and I have to get a ladder to reach it. 
Well, I was going to wrap up the video there, but um, so it, it's a couple days later now, and I've finished up the bracing. Um, I think I've got it much more secure to the ceiling. I, I'm pretty sure it would have been fine before, but you know, always good to be paranoid with these sorts of things and make it stronger than it needs to be. I've been looking around the shop and finding things I just want to get out of the way. I'm going to start with this little bandsaw. I don't really use it much, and until I get my woodworking area set up, it's just in the way. So up it goes. Okay, first test. Bandsaw, probably 40, 50 pounds, I don't know. Like a dream. All right, test number two, the door to uh, the Datsun. Uh, I don't know, maybe 75 pounds. It's heavier than that, that uh, bandsaw was. Not even straining. All right, let's get serious. Dotson transmission, uh, 100, over 100 pounds, I figure. They're not horribly heavy, it's just a little small car for four-speed transmission, but I sure as hell am not carrying it up with on the ladder the old-fashioned way. Up it goes. Not even straining. All right, we need to give him more of a challenge. Let's try something heavy. Volkswagen Beetle motor. I believe they're they're over 200 pounds, I know. So the Harbor Freight winch comes with, uh, sorry, hoist, not winch. Uh, it comes with an extra pulley that you can put on it, loop the uh, cable back around to the, uh, the hoist itself, and uh, double half the speed, double the lifting power. So it's supposed to be able to lift 440 pounds with this. Certainly my track's good enough for that, but this will be the test. All right, I am gonna get out of the way for this one. <laughs> well, that wasn't a challenge at all. Track works well with weight on it. I am very happy with that. That hardly seemed like enough of a challenge. Let's throw something else at it. I think it's heavier. <laughs> Datsun L20 motor, or just the block. It's, uh, or the, the bottom end, I should say. Um, I think it's heavier. We'll find out. Well, I know it's heavier than the Volkswagen. I doubt it's over 400 pounds. In fact, I'm positive it isn't so uh yeah, in theory we should be able to lift it if i can rig it we can lift it uh, okay i think i'm happy with my rigging i'm gonna get out of the way for this one Cable doesn't always uh, go on real smoothly, but other than that, it has no trouble lifting it. I'm not hearing any noise from my track or the trolley. Still rolls pretty well on those roller skate bearings. I think this is going to work just wonderfully. Well, I think that's a pretty productive weekend, or actually longer than the weekend. It's 4th of July week. I took a couple days off last week, so I... Uh, did, took care of this stuff and uh, tinkered with the other things. Um, but yeah, I think this is going to really be helpful. It helps me make use of this space up here. And uh, had no trouble lifting anything I threw at it. And honestly, this is, I don't think I'm going to be lifting anything heavier than this. I'm not going to be doing, you know, big uh, iron V8 engines up here or anything. If I've got any of those, I'll, I'll keep those downstairs. So uh, that'll wrap this up. If you like what you see, I appreciate you subscribing. Um, I do some workshop projects, automotive stuff, and, uh, you know, leave some comments if there's something else you're interested in seeing me doing. Tell then, get out in your garage, do something interesting.